Hey everyone, welcome to the meditation drawing for today. We have about one minute. And so perhaps uh, while we're waiting, just advise a couple of things for you. Um, first of all, we'll be here for about 15 minutes or so. So I would suggest you find yourself a really comfortable place in your house, somewhere where you feel at ease. It could be the sofa. It could be a nice little comfy chair that you have. Uh, the next 15 minutes or so are really about relaxation. And so use this opportunity to take time out of the busyness of your day and just relax. So grab a cushion, grab a blankie, um, wherever you are, just really feel that quite secure in your chair so that you can really sink back and relax and give your weight over to the chair and really kind of allow that to, to kind of support you as best as possible. All you'll need for today is a um, piece of paper. If you don't have a notebook, just use a magazine or newspaper. It's not important. We're not being precious about the final result here. This is really about the process. And I just have a green marker because green just appealed to me today. I feel like there's a need for... I don't know, just a bit of calming, healing energy. So our meditation drawing today is going to focus around the full moon. And this is quite a potent energy. And for anyone like me who doesn't have the ego or the solar plexus defined, I'm feeling this as quite energetic. And so that's why I really want to welcome you to ground yourself into your chair, really relax um, and look after yourself for the next 15 minutes. So what I'll be doing is I'll be starting off with a short meditation of about five minutes. I'll then introduce the energy that we have around us at the moment, which is the gate 37 and the gate 40. And then we'll move into creative exercise that will enable us to tune into this energy a little bit more. Remember, meditation drawing is a very receptive yin form of energy. I'm a quad right. And so... This is really about surrendering to the energy. There's, you've got nothing to prove here. There's nothing to fix here. There's nothing to solve. Drawing meditation is about surrendering, letting go, and letting your imagination, letting your body move in a particular way, and just to see um, what emerges from that. So we'll start with our meditation. And we'll then go into a creative exercise and I'll guide you through that creative exercise. So this is, you don't have to have any art experience here. This is a form of doodling. And I will be showing you step by step how to do it. Now, usually on my meditation drawings, I have two cameras, um, but the live is a little bit different. So I'll be drawing here, um, but you can, you can work with that and you can see what I'm doing, but I'll give you an explanation all of the way. Okay, so let's start. So for the next four or five minutes, we'll be doing a meditation. So what I really want you to do is settle into your chair. I mean, really feel those sit bones down on the, down on the, the seat and really rest your back into the back of the chair. This is so important to feel the support um, around you while you do the meditation. Even I'd suggest this, just planting your feet ever so gently on the floor and just really feeling the sensation in your feet and drawing up the support of Mother Earth as we go through our meditation drawing today. So it's going to be slightly different, this meditation, because I actually want you to hold your heart during this meditation. And what I'd like you to do is breathe into that heart that ego center. So in your own time, taking your first breath into your heart area and breathing out. Let's do that again. In and out. And one last time, breathing in and out. So let's really bring our focus and attention 
back to the body. So here we are sitting in space. And I want you to notice, continue noticing that breath moving in and moving out. Breathing in and breathing out. And that's all we really have to notice today is just that movement. The expansion and contraction of your chest and belly. Mm -hmm. The rise and fall of your shoulders. The movement of cooler air in through the nostrils. Or the mouth. And just really f allowing that breath to fill you up. And now I'd like you to think about the gate uh, 37 for a minute. And in this gate, what we're looking at is we're looking at this feeling and this sense of belonging. And with the gate 40, we're looking at this idea of how do we come out into this world? How do we connect with others? How do we be ourselves and still belong in the tribe? So I want you to tune in to quite a precious place inside of you that wants to be themselves and also wants to belong within a community. And we're going to be playing with that idea in our drawing today. So now that you've set the intention or thought about that idea, it's really time to let go of that and now let the creative exercise take over. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be drawing circles. So just getting your pen or pencil and just drawing a series of circles on the page. Don't get precious about your circles here. Just really tune into the page, tune into the feeling. And just draw the circles, scattering them throughout the page no particular order, no particular pattern, just really filling your page with circles. And where possible, attach your breath to the creation of this circle. So breathing in as you start and out as you reach full completion. Really enjoying this simple act of drawing. Remember, there's no purpose. There's nothing to achieve. We're just tuning into this breath as we create circles. It doesn't have to be a uniform shape. Just placing an array of circles connecting the drawing of this circle to the breath. And whenever you're ready, whenever it feels natural to end, I'd like you to simply link one circle to another. There doesn't have to be a particular order to this. It doesn't have to be a pattern. And again, taking a breath in 
And then on the breath out, connecting one circle to another. You may not feel the need to connect all of these circles, but you may feel the desire to connect one circle to another, and even connect that circle to another one. And again, once this feels like it's come to a natural end, I'd like you to now begin to fill these circles in. Again, not getting precious about what the circles look like. Letting go that it has to look particular way, just beginning to tune in to each circle and filling in, completing. And again, really connecting this movement to the breath. How many breaths does it take to fill a circle? And as you notice your breathing, come back to this idea of breathing and drawing and noticing, even bringing in that feeling and sensation in your feet, rooting down into the earth and gathering the support you need as you do your meditation drawing today. So as you relax and as you doodle, Simply just remember your intention. Consider this idea of this desire for connection, this desire for belonging that you have within you. And even what you may have sacrificed, compromised in the past, to be accepted and to be connected within your own community. And the full moon energy really being about letting that go and connecting into this deeper sense of yourself, this deeper truth. And finding this place to go out and move out into the tribe. So in the last few moments of our meditation drawing for this full moon. I'd like you to slow down in your own time. Again, just coming back to your breath maybe putting down your marker and just taking a time to, to see what you've created. Is there a word that comes to mind? I, 
I can't help thinking of this idea of DNA with my image and how deeply connected we all are coming from the same place and yet how also how deeply individual we are and unique in our ways. And perhaps writing a word in the chat about how you feel having engaged in this activity and then just letting it go. Maybe just a little massage of the hands, arms, shoulders, letting go any ideas, or concepts about how things should be or might be. Hmm. Thank you for joining me today. My next meditation drawing circle starts on the 3rd of October. Oh, thank you, Roisin. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit calmer too. I'm really noticing the strength of this 3740 at the moment. It's quite a strong energy. So I've been really practicing over the last 24 hours of how to root myself and still feel that. It's been really beneficial for me. So I hope the drawing has facilitated and helped that. So I, I've put a link to my next meditation drawing circle, which starts on the 3rd of October. It's about 12.30 to 1.10 p.m. Irish Standard Time. If you need any more information, check that out. Otherwise, go gently. This is a powerful full moon and the 3740 is a powerful energy. So take care and you can check out all the rest of my meditation drawings on my YouTube channel. See you soon. Bye.